Hi, this is a uh, <coughs> short little video that uh, is related to a uh, post on the EEV blog forum that I just uh, made. Um, and it's about some flaws in this uh, EEV block multimeter, which is uh, obviously, uh, if we switch it on, version E. And I compare it to this one, which is version G, depicted by 9 whatsoever. And the problem is all about measuring resistance. So what I have here, uh, well, it, it, just maybe for the backstory of both. This one <clears throat> I got from a seller on eBay. And this is uh, also related to, to, to the post that I just uh, replied to. Um, I ordered this one on eBay. And immediately when I ordered that one, the seller told me that he is out of stock. He has a huge backlog and I have to wait at least three months, blah, blah, blah. And then I said, I don't accept that, especially because before I asked on the EEV blog forum whether this seller is known and whether he is authorized, and they said that he is not known and he is not authorized and that there are no eBay sellers. So I then canceled the order of this one and bought that one. I guess on Amazon, I don't know, I don't remember, was it on Amazon or in the EV blog store? Anyway, it was authorized and that one uh, arrived, I think, some two weeks later, two weeks later. Anyway, some half a year later, <laughs> I got a letter from German Customs and they told me uh, that I have to show up because there is uh, a parcel that they can't identify and I have to identify, blah, blah, blah. So I went to customs, they opened the parcels, and what I found is this one, which I never paid for, which I canceled the order for, and customs asked me to pay 25 euros for customs and tax and blah. And so I thought, well, okay, 25 euros for an EV block meter, that's okay. So obviously that one has a problem with resistance measurements. At least this one, because I, I, I didn't look in, into uh, diodes and capacity and, 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 and so on. What I know is that uh, current and voltage measuring is okay. That is no problem at all. And so maybe this is the very well known flaw of version E. And uh, I just want to show the flaw and show my work around if that's of any interest to anybody. And what I also want to know is uh, whether there is uh, whether it's known that these old version E meters been sold by some strange eBay dealers. So maybe that's that's interesting to Dave. I don't know. But anyway, I do the video. So um, these are some resistors here. This is supposed to be 27k, 33k, 47k. 56k and 81k. So if you if you look at this meter, which is the version G1, it measures quite nice. If I get contact here, so this is supposed to be 27. That should be 33. It's okay. 47, 56, and 81. Oh, 81. Now if I take this meter here. And measure 81, everything is, as Dave would say, hunky dory. If I go down to 56, the same. But then, if I go down to 47, what I get is 467. So 470k, so one order of magnitude too high. Going down to 33, the same, uh, 327. And again, one order of magnitude too high on uh, 72, uh, 27, 27K, which shows 267K. So what I did then is I thought to myself, something's wrong here. I, I was, I was, uh, I was uh, suspecting these metal film resistors so tested against carbon, but no, no, no difference. But uh, somewhere between 56K and 
in 47k, everything gets messed up. So what I did, I go to manual range and went to the kilo ohms range. So if I go to to the first range, nothing happens, of course, because the values are too low, maybe, I don't know. But that's the same on this meter. Now, if I advance the decimal dot, see what happens. It is supposed to go from here to here, isn't it? But no, it jumps right over to here. So what then happens if I try to measure things? I get the same error as before. You can see. No nice. And if I go to the 81, I get anything. I don't get anything. Same goes. Ah, the 56 is now at 550. I don't get it. I mean, this is completely strange. If now I advance the decimal dot once again, nothing changes on the display, but now the dot is here. And if I go now to measure, I get proper values. So strange. And I mean, at least now I have a workaround, but that means I don't have no automatic range selection. So I have to know what I'm measuring. Because if I don't know what I'm measuring, I will get confusing values. So that's all what I wanted to show. Maybe someone knows that. Uh, maybe maybe even someone has a better workaround for this. Because what I got is that the uh, microcontrollers are <coughs> one time or once programmable. So no flashing, no updating of firmware, and so on and so on, which is OK. because. As I said, I paid 25 euros for this one. So how could I complain if everything else works? I put a mark on that one telling me no measurements of resistance, and I take that one. So uh, that was a short video, not very professional, <laughs> but it was just for information and uh, for explaining what I wrote in the thread. So maybe someone's interested in them. Maybe it's of help to someone. I don't know. Thank you.